You about to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, I'm like too built for that. Hey, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We coming to 2020. This is a new year. This is a new you. This is a new me. So if you haven't done already, man, get you another form of income in your pocket, my baby. Go ahead, start recording the podcast, man. Shout out to Anchor, man. So don't pussyfoot around because it's free. There's creation tools to allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So you can be easily heard on, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, all that other stupid dumb shit that niggas like to listen to motherfucking podcasts. And you can make some cheese from that podcast with no minimum listenership. So everything you need to make a podcast is all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You punk bitch. About to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, I'm oh, like too built for that. It's only been like a week. Yeah, two weeks. Um, like, we was here last week. <laughs> but basically, what I was saying is, like, you could tell, like, when a nigga really ain't, like, still getting used to shit. Mm-hmm. And because all the, the whole time that, you know, he was, like, recording, you know, like, the, uh, uh, the room that he was in, he was like, "Yeah, you know, I got, I got two beds. I don't know why. It's just me and this bitch. You know, I ain't got nobody with me." And then he like showing like the fucking balcony and shit. And then for a split second, you see like a bitch in the distance. All right. And it's clearly who you just speaking about. Exactly. I feel you. I feel you. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like. Like, my nigga, who, like, who are you trying to fool? Like, <laughs> and then you ain't even, you ain't even sweet with it. Like, that nigga is not sweet at all. Exactly. You just got you some money, nigga. <laughs> That's <laughs> it, nigga. You just got some money, nigga. That's crazy as hell, bro. That nigga definitely not Travis Scott fucking that bitch. Bro. Nah, nah. Like, nah. if you Travis Scott fucking that bitch, bro, like, nigga, she's on the lowest of keys and shit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you like this, like any like any real nigga that's like like used to that type of shit, like mind you, we didn't even know that she was fucking with Travis, <laughs> not did we? That's the point, <laughs> that's the nigga. Point. That's the fucking point, bro. Like that's why I said he not Travis Scott fucking that bitch, bro, because hey. he blatantly going out of his way to fuck with this bitch and this bitch. I mean, let me not, but. Yeah, this bitch is not all that, you feel me? No, no, no I was no, trying no, to be no. nice about it, but I had to, you know, say what was on my mind. Like, Thanks. You feel me? Mind you, if I came across that bitch, I'd fuck the shit out that bitch, but I'm a regular ass nigga. But if exactly. I'm a, if I got my own bag, nigga, I'm not going for her, bro. No, 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 no. It's like way more like high, higher quality bitches, man. If I got my own bag, I could really pick and choose from whomever damn near. Exactly. Up into man. a certain bracket. Like, in that bracket they in, I don't think she, like, Cause the best he could get. Because even, cause even you had told me about, like, years ago, it's mm-hmm. like, as far as, like, that whole Lori Harvey shit. And I could have sworn, Spiff, and, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you told me about this woman probably about five or six years ago before, like, the bro, whole Bro, I got a gift, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I got a, a gift, man. I got a Nigga, if it's a low key bad bitch out there, nigga, I'm a motherfucking figure that shit out. <laughs> That's what I do, nigga. That's the strategy, nigga. A nigga put on Twitter like, no, a bitch put on Twitter like all niggas do is uh try to talk to girl badass bitches with uh low Instagram followers. <laughs> yes, that's my lane, nigga. I love it, bro. Duh, I feel like we was kind of like on that wave a long time ago. It's like, nigga, if we caught like a, a decent, like a cold little joint. That's what I'm like saying. Like less than like a thousand followers. That mean everybody don't gotta know her, it. bro. You got to secure the bag. Niggas is sleep, bro. Gotta Niggas secure. is sleep, but that's just my preference, though. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Cause when I get some money, I'm gonna be out here like y'all niggas. Duh, my nigga Spiff is shoot down all the top. <laughs> Ain't gonna be like a quiet sniper at that, though. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's been a minute since I've been in the game, but that's like, you know, my whole little get down. Man, 
But hey, man, how dare <laughs> how dare we? We not rambling. Introduce, we rambling. Some motherfucking pie. I'm man, telling you, man. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Or whenever the fuck y'all niggas like to listen to this motherfucking shit. This is a motherfucking Meech and Spiff podcast, and I'm Meech. I'm Spiff. Hey, man, and we appreciate all 12 of you motherfuckers for always listening, always showing love, giving feedback to the motherfucking pie, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back on the bullshit. Man, man I ain't gonna lie, man, because, um, you know, the last episode we did, you know, we was, you know, big on our on our black power, mm-hmm. you know, fist up in the air type shit, so. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, I think we, I think we spoke. Spoke to the, you know, spoke to the masses, man, and, and, and got some good shit across. Yeah, man, got to spread the message, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the least we could do. You know, we got this platform, so, I mean, we got to speak on it, bro. Yeah, man. Even even so much to the fact that, um, you know, uh, a, a, a very popular, you know, Twitter page, and shout out to, you know, shout out to Spiff for bringing that shit, you know, to light, man. Mm-hmm. It's the... Dr. Umar, no context on Twitter, man. Man, shout out to them boys, man. They showed us major love on Twitter yes, this past sir. week, was it? Yeah, this past week, man. Man, they got our got, got us some likes and some retweets. You feel me? A few comments, man. Appreciate them sharing their platform with us. Man. Definitely. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to them. They ask us for a dollar or nothing. You know how uh, that social media shit go. Man, that, and that shit was that shit was that shit was pretty lovely, man. Cause cause Doggy Bone just kind of just DM me was like, "Hey, man, it's okay if I can like retweet this shit." I was like, "By all means, please to to all sixty thousand of your followers and exactly. shit." Exactly, we appreciate it, man. Niggas was just liking everything black on Twitter, nigga. Black, 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 black on black, 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 black. You feel me? <laughs> But it's good to see Black Twitter come together like that and like support each other though, for real, for real. Hell yeah, man! I fucks with it. I fucks with it. But um, to be to to keep it a whole bean bean with you, Spiff Lord, mm-hmm. man, and you know with 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 everything that that's going on out here in the world, man. I feel like we still have to you know do our due diligence and and, and speak and still speak about you know what's going on right now, man. Definitely, man. You know, it's 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 crazy times. It's getting so crazy to the point where I don't like being on social media and seeing black people getting killed. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I mean, I rode out there on the streets. You feel me? On my off days and shit, wasn't a lot going on. But you know, you can see the stragglers from the protests. You feel me? Man, I wanted to ask you though, like. Because I know uh, we talked like a couple days ago off pod and shit, and, mm-hmm. and you was on your way to Best Buy to get some get some camera equipment, man. Did you did you ever get a chance to go down there and, and you know get your flick on? No, nah, so just on some me type shit. I done lost my camera charger because I lose everything. <laughs> you feel me? Went to go get a camera charger. Came back to this bitch. It's the wrong one. Damn. Boom. So that's day one. But I did see. Um, you know, people downtown, there was helicopters up here flying around and stuff like that. I rode through downtown scene, you know, probably like groups of like five or ten people. Or I could come back from like, you know what I'm saying, work or some shit and see like some people come back from protests. But no, I fumbled the bag on that one, bro. As far as like being down there taking pictures. But, you know, it is what it is. I had time for it. Facts, facts, man. A little bit later. But, you know, like I said, man, you know, the the situation is still going on, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like, you know, the media has been, you know, definitely making this as, as a, you know, a top priority news subject in the world right now. Until further notice, until some, some exactly until they need to hide something from us. Because I feel like a lot of times, you know, we can't trust, you know, media. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Because it's always some secret you know, ulterior motives that's going on and shit behind the scenes that we don't know about. I have a feeling like within the next like two months, nigga, they gonna be like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, uh, they bombed somewhere or nigga, some new virus is out and why everybody was out here protesting. Right. Some some shit happened. Man, it's crazy because like I was saying earlier, um, like that social media shit getting a little bit too draining, bro. I ain't like. 
probably done cut my Twitter off for like six days now. Like, I ain't been on no social media, bro, at all. Yeah, you're right, man. That shit is draining as fuck. Man. I don't believe it. I feel like people are trying to, like, cover it up. Like, it's something. It's, it's like, too bad to believe, bro, like, type shit. It's like, you want to stay informed, mm-hmm. but a lot of that shit is, like, really bad on your whole mental, because... That's what I'm saying. It's like, my nigga, we got all this bullshit going on, day by day, month by month, it's something new. It's a new discussion about everything. Mm-hmm. The government is fucking lying to us. We got an idiot in office, you feel me? And I really, I don't know. Like, it's draining, and... I'm here for my brothers and sisters, you feel me? People of color, you feel me? But, uh, I can't, like, I can't, like, that shit too, too bad on my, my mental, like, my energy off and shit like that, like, knowing that I gotta just go ahead and just live regular life, you feel me? Like, I can't, like, I can't surround myself with that energy, bro. I'm trying to, like, come up in these hard times, you feel me? Absolutely, man. And it's like, as, as much as, you know, like you say, man, we, we, we try to stay informed, man, but we still got to gotta go out here and do better and, and still progress in the meantime, man. Yeah, I feel you, but... You know, we still got to go out here and, and still handle day-to-day shit. I'm trying to really get on social media for the jokes. Dude. That's all <laughs> I like to call it, nigga. It's funny no, news, nigga. I swear, man. It's funny news, bro. It's funny. I'm trying to, like, we got to stop, like, in this start with us, bro. We got to stop, like, feeding the fuel to that shit, bro. Like, you know, we got to support black business, but we can't be just, you know what I'm saying? Dumb. Tearing everything down in the process, bro. Y'all niggas getting too destructive, bro. Not in the physical sense. Yeah. But just a, a literal sense as far as the mentality, bro. But one thing that we got to do mm-hmm. is definitely kind of like call out the people that's doing the least. Yeah, exactly. You know, the, ones, the ones that we know for a fact that ain't mm-hmm. putting out the, the fucking necessary effort to, exactly. uh, you know, to progress. The we, black movement. That's what I'm saying. We made our move, bro. And we ain't, we ain't gonna stop making our move. Like all this shit that y'all doing right now, not really good enough. Like everybody done. Like every major company is like apologizing, and they advertisements. Yeah. If you get some motherfucking uh, spam mail <laughs> in your email and shit, they apologizing to you and shit. Duh. I'm. Hey man, like I saw on Twitter, I'm gonna keep it two Virgils. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it two Virgils, bro. What the fuck? That shit crazy as fuck, bro. I'm gonna keep it two Virgils. What man. the fuck, bro? Do you make it this Virgil situation? Cause this shit is like trending, bro. Dog, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep it a whole two Virgils with you, cause mm-hmm. and this is this is somebody. <laughs> two fucking Virgils, bro. What the fuck? Dog, this is somebody that has profited off of us. And don't get me wrong, you know we got the 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 white the white hype beast kids that's out here rocking the off white yeah. type shit and everything. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And Definitely. I can honestly say, you know, on the record that you have some off whites. <laughs> I do. In your possession right I now. I do. But I do. From for a nigga that's out here selling six hundred dollar t shirts and you only giving up motherfucking fifty, 50? Uh, uh, <laughs> a nifty, 50? a nifty, a fifty. Bro, Come let, on, let alone that, the the white people is buying your shit more than the black people is. So you know you come in with that bag, bro. Exactly. You know you get that bag. Exactly, cuz. The like, 50, though, bro. Duh. Duh. It's like. I would have rather that nigga gave nothing personally. Don't give me shit, bro. Duh. It's like. That's ungrateful. We, we give a lot of money to, to, to brands like him. And it's not like we we pocket watching or or mm-hmm. trying to you know trying to force him to spend you know uh, a boatload of cash and shit. But fifty bucks, my nigga, come on, man, you we gotta do better. That shit is so fucking offensive, bro. Like, like he shouldn't have even gave nothing, bro. Like that shit is offensive. We yeah, know you for might a as fact. Well not even did nothing. You know for a fact, everybody know you rich as fuck. You're a public figure and Absolutely. you're a public figure because you're rich as fuck. My man. nigga, he designs for Louis Vuitton. That's what I'm saying. Come on, man. Collab with Nike. Like, come on, bro. You a trendsetter, bro. You got the bag, bro. And you black. And you black, bro. 
you shouldn't have gave nothing. I feel like people, black people with money, shouldn't have to give. I, I shouldn't have to give anything to the Black Lives Matter. Yeah. And it's kind of like pick a side. Like, if you're with us, that's cool. But if you're not, stay over there, you feel me? Because we're going to remember this type of shit. Right. But for you to say, like, he was making a joke of it, I feel like. That's a mockery. We know you got that bread. You feel me? Exactly. If you decided to give something, you would give it with your heart. It's just like he was being funny. Like, I feel like he was like, oh, here, I'm mac- matching local energy type shit. And I'm going to tell you like this. This is the wrong time to be motherfucking funny. My that's nigga. what I'm saying. Like, why are you making fun of it, bro? I can feel like, I feel you. You black. You made your money. You don't got to worry about the shit. You don't identify with us. That's fine. But stay on that side, bro. Don't come over here and make a joke about what we going through. You feel me? Uh, the funny shit is, is that, you know, with this whole cancel culture and everything that people got going on, mm-hmm. it's like... Right now, we in the in the in a position where as you know, we hurting, we fighting, mm-hmm. yep. and we ain't got time for niggas jokes and shit. That's what this I'm saying. This is the wrong time to be like joking. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying, bro. That 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 shows how much you you think of us, bro. Uh, and you know what, Spiff? I think you brought up a good point, man. And this could be, you know, me half ass internet research, man. Okay. I went on motherfucking Nima Marcus, or was I on? It might have been on Saks or Neiman Marcus website or whatever. Mm-hmm. I went to the Off White section, Spiff. Okay. Everything that was in Off White, fifty mm-hmm. percent off. Damn. So is this is this <laughs> him just like trolling us? Is it? <laughs> is it? I don't is know. Is it? I don't know, Spiff. Is it though? So you saying I'm taking this shit too personal? Like he he, but come on, no, bro. Ooh. But. Everybody has a platform and they can exp- express how they feel about the situation. Absolutely. Any way they want to. And we being too, maybe we reading too deep into it or not we, deep enough. Yeah, maybe, maybe, okay. maybe. I, I see what you're saying. Maybe. I see what you're saying. But I can tell you like this, though, because you, you definitely brought up a, you know, a point, you know, before we got onto this virtual subject. Mm-hmm. And with all of these companies that's, you know, out here putting out... Uh, uh, different, you know, press releases saying they all uh, they all for the whole black community. They all for the Black Lives Matter movement and everything like that. Like a nigga could have bought a pair of drawers sixteen years ago, and yeah. like that that company is like emailing <laughs> you like right now telling you that you know they all for the, they all for the black yeah. culture. Like I'm all for you. Like I mean, shit, man. What do you think? This could possibly turn into, and I know you. I think you asked me this question last part, but I got to see like, how do you feel about everything that's been going on in the black community? Like, what maybe a month later, three weeks later? Like, what do you see as far as progress? I mean, as far as progress goes, I mean, from what I from what I've seen, it's like a lot of people are coming together. Like, don't get me wrong. Like at this at this point in time, man, mm-hmm. you know, there are you know our white allies and you know there's i even saw some shit earlier today i saw some damn korean people saying like shit black lives matter i'm seeing a whole bunch of people come together i saw some beautiful shit over there in paris and shit mm-hmm. they over there fucking shit up for they us fucking <laughs> they shit fucking shit up, up bro i don't even know why i don't even know, i didn't know they was even that cool with us but they, bro, fucking they fucking shit, shit up. up bro don't get me on that like <laughs> Outside the U.S. shit, because we, we a fucked up country, bro. Yeah, we is. The, the U.S. is a fucked up country, bro. Like, uh, But basically what I'm saying is, man, mm-hmm. three weeks, a month in, however long, is... I just hope that this shit... I just hope that this shit keep up, man. I see that, you know, we all sticking together. Mm-hmm. But until... We start seeing, you know, changes, mm-hmm. you know, whether it's in government or better programs for us, then my nigga, you know, I'm just sitting back just watching, cuz. Do you think that all this, the the reason it's being publicized is because the government is trying to, like, hide a whole bunch of shit from us other than this, you feel me? Because Corona's still out here. I mean, Corona's is still, it's not to still shy out. away from, like, you know, the whole thing with Black Lives Matter and the powerful movement, movement that it's bringing, but it's a lot of shit that's going on while we consume with this that a lot of people don't know about, bro. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of shit, man. It's, 
one thing about the government is that you know they gonna allow us to see what they want us to see exactly like i know everybody got smartphones everybody mm-hmm. got all this shit you know you quick you quick to you know be able to upload on twitter facebook mm-hmm. instagram whatever but the government is only going to allow people what they want to see man just like as far as like the whole Ahmad Arbery situation, right. nigga, that shit happened like back in February, and we just now seeing this. Um, I know it's June now, but this shit came out like towards the mid to late part of May. Mm-hmm. So, whatever that they had intentions on or whatever behind the scenes, mm-hmm. you know, I'm pretty sure that if if we didn't if we really didn't press the whole issue, mm-hmm. them those three white men would have been. Good. Right. So, I don't know, Spit. It's a lot of shit going it's, on. It's a bro. lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit but, to think about. But you know what? Going back to like those whole you know companies and shit that's out here putting these, all these damn press releases. Mm-hmm. I want to ask you this, though. Okay. Doesn't it seem a little bit disingenuous, though? Like, doesn't it seem like... They yeah. doing this for they yes. doing this for a purpose. Like it's it's like it's a game. It's all a game, bro. It's all a game, bro. Because for us mm-hmm. as the black race, they it say is. that we spend the most money out of anybody. For us to be the minority, we spend the, the majority most money, of money. Yeah. So doesn't it seem like they all want to be, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter movement? Mm-hmm. Doesn't it seem a bit disingenuous though? It does, but it's a game, bro. Mm. And as of right now, black people have leverage, you feel me? Yeah. In that particular situation with the e commerce, uh, specifically the e commerce business, you feel me? Right. Because right now, economically, in Michigan, ain't shit open. We can't go to the malls, you feel me? And it's a couple other states that have, it's a lot of other states that haven't opened up like that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. The highest consumer is black people, and the only way these niggas can survive is if we shop online. You feel Facts. me? Facts. That's why we're getting all these emails and shit and all these sales, 50% off Virgil and shit like that. It's a game, bro, but we got leverage, bro. But it's disingenuous because they know once they gain that back, whatever, you know, after this election or whatever, when they get the economy back running, if they do, mm-hmm. you feel me? Which I'm pretty sure they will. Like, they going to stop playing it, bro. They going to stop playing it after that. Once the economy go back up, they going to stop playing the game. Yeah. I don't know, man. I have a feeling that this may lead to some type of uh, monetary type of situation. hmm In which I feel like we we might get some band-bands, man. I feel like we might get some band-bands because... Look, I was just about to say... If I could get a couple bandos off that shit, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Give me, nigga, I need a Chrysler settlement, bro. <laughs> I need a Chrysler settlement, bro. I, I'm a, I'm on a, I'm on a large finish. scale in, on a large scale I'm in. Let you finish. On, on a large scale in, you yeah. feel me? Oh, I'm talking about them niggas at the top, you yeah. feel me? Oh, I, I need I one of them. I need one of them. Like, corporate, mm-hmm. mid-level. Mm-hmm. Yes, corporate mid level. Yes, man. I don't know if you saw it the other day, man. Mm-hmm. Like I say, half ass internet research. Meech, mm-hmm. you know Bob Johnson, the the former. Uh, I don't know. Do he still own BET? I I could be wrong. I don't know. I think I might have Tyler Perry on that shit. As far as <laughs> I'm <laughs> concerned, nigga, I don't nigga, fucking the, know. The amount of reruns they showing that bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm Tyler saying. Perry That's Tyler that Perry bitch. shit, nigga. I don't give a fuck. But um, Bob Johnson, man. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I. I read somewhere that he had to sit down with uh with Donald Trump and shit to talk about like that whole reparations and shit. Mind you, we ain't getting no reparations. I'ma just keep it a whole being with niggas. Yeah. But just the thought of it, um, they proposed like um a fourteen trillion dollar, you know, reparations in which every um black person will get probably maybe about uh maybe about three hundred thousand apiece. That's what the fuck I was talking about <laughs> in layman's terms, nigga. Yes, I need that. What the fuck I you mean? That. Yeah, like, <laughs> come on, cuz. Whoever proposed that keep on bands. doing that shit. Damn, <laughs> bands, nigga. I need that. We started a business, nigga. 
What? I I started business uh, with that bitch so listen, quick. Listen, I'm so quick, dog. Man, I I'm can't. Not. Man, you ain't even got man. Give me three band bands. I'm good. <laughs> I don't need three hundred five, but nigga, I will take it if you offer it. Bro, three hundred, three hundred, bro. That's before tax, right? Listen, man. I don't know the answer. Now. You know, it's just a, it, you know, you know, it's just no, the because when they say we was getting twelve bands, we got twelve bands. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. You, I don't know how your shit was looking like, but my <laughs> shit was looking like twelve hundred. Twelve hundos. But I don't know, man. Like I said, nigga, you know, this is just a, a proposal. Yeah. This shit ain't gonna never like it's it's gonna be over their motherfucking dead body before they yeah, give us some money. They, they, they not about to do shit yeah. with that shit. They don't play about that shit. It's just but going back, man, it just it's just bold how they do us, man. Yeah, definitely. Because you know, when when I look at this shit and when I start doing my research on a lot of things, mm-hmm. it's like so many different like cultures and races got reparations, whether it was the the, the Native Americans with mm-hmm. they with their reservations and they they opened up casinos and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Even the Chinese people, I heard that they got reparations from from the U.S. I even heard that niggas from Paris got reparations like recently. Yeah, and like so many Italians got reparations. Like mm-hmm. so many people got it, but nigga, the all the work that we've done, nigga, we still have not got anything. Anything. You feel from. me? We built this fucking nation on our backs. I know everybody saying that shit. That shit sound cliche, but nigga, we did that shit, nigga. Right. Y'all founded y'all first fucking businesses on the backs of black people, bro. Shit that's still running to this day. Trillion dollar businesses. Trillion. You feel me? That's never gonna go out. You feel me? Yeah. Man, I don't know, Spiff, man. I Like I say, man, I hope for change. I hope. Some good is gonna come out of it. I hope this is ain't something that's gonna we're gonna continue to like protest for, you know, for another month and then niggas gonna like forget. Yeah. I just hope that something actually comes good about it, man. That's why my general thing for like these last couple of weeks that I've been just living every day is like progress. Not to get too deep, but I'm just trying to see progress in everything that I do, progress with the world, you feel me? Like and that's it, bro. But the the pressure of social media is so powerful in this Man. world, bro. Them motherfucking tell me about it. Anonymous niggas is like fueling ah. niggas. Them anonymous niggas is like them white people you see starting fires and shit in them protests, like just feeding that shit, breaking in the shit, like. They like, nah, nigga, we really on that gangster shit, nigga. Because, oh, you know, man. white people don't need a reason, bro. Nah. They don't need a reason. They mad as fuck. They mad as fuck, bro, because they been cooped up in the house, and they mad yep. about what the white people mad about. Yep. We mad about some real nigga shit. Yeah. And all this shit is class. It's like beautiful bliss, bro. It's beauty in the destruction, bro. Mm-hmm. It's beauty in that shit, bro. Dog, you know what? About <laughs> these anonymous niggas on Twitter, <laughs> man. And yeah. honestly... They on our side because I feel like I can probably speak for, you know, speak for the both of us. Remember back when we was in school Mm -hmm. and like, you know, we know the weird niggas. But Mm -hmm. we was always cool with the weird niggas just in case they want to come to school and fuck some shit up one day. Exactly. You know what I mean? You got to blend in, You got to blend in. Like, we feel your struggle, bro. (laughs) Hold on, nigga. So, I feel like the anonymous niggas is like the Mm -hmm. weird niggas that was like back in high school that, you know, they they be watching Naruto and shit. Exactly. Running through the (laughs) hall and shit like... You know, running through the halls, doing wild, goofy shit. Exactly. And I feel like they got her back right now. They like, fuck that shit. They out here spilling I've been waiting to fuck up some shit. <laughs> you let this happen? Dog, they is out here wilding out, dog. Bro, them niggas got too much information, bro. Dog, it's so crazy, man, because honestly... If niggas reelect this nigga Donald Trump, niggas is fucking mm-hmm. stupid. Cause exactly. Like, niggas is fucking retarded. Retarded, bro. When they leaked, first them niggas had leaked uh, them police officers in a uh, Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis, somewhere in Minneapolis yep. Police Department uh, passwords and all emails and shit, and all their logins and shit. Yep. I'm like, damn, how y'all niggas get this, bro? Like, this shit look real, though. Dumb. And I know it is. 
nigga, I know for a fact it is, mm-hmm. man. Because they shut down the whole website. They did. Because even they I tried to go down. on that bitch. <laughs> they took that shit down, nigga. Oh, they shut down the whole mm-hmm. website, my nigga. Dog, you think niggas is out here really going to just do some bullshit behind the scenes and niggas not find out? Exactly, nigga. Dude, I swear, I was on Twitter, man. I follow I follow the anonymous page and shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they got all types of different court records. Mm-hmm. Nigga, they got, you know, between, you know, Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. That I don't even know I should say rest in peace because that nigga's a sick man. Exactly. But he's dead. That nigga dead because why, Meach? Explain the theory. Because I want to know. I want to tell you like this. Before I tell you my theory, mm-hmm. what I saw on Twitter was quite disturbing. What you see on Twitter? Man, I saw... I saw I saw some paperwork, Spiff. What you say? Like see? my nigga Babyface Ray say, paperwork party. Yeah. <laughs> it was a party on that motherfucking paperwork, my nigga. Okay, okay. Dude, you want to talk about, they had names and ages of different kids that Donald Trump had sex with. Mm-hmm. In which, at the same time, too, hundreds of thousands. Right. Millions. Mm-hmm. Some even had undisclosed amounts that were given to the to the families of these young kids, man. Mm-hmm. I seen that shit. Some of them little, uh, the boys was getting that bag. They was getting that bag. They was, uh, the girls was getting like, huh? They, Donald Trump was like, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that nigga need no, to that's shut the fuck was, up for real, I saw bro. one with a little boy, and it mm-hmm. said undisclosed. So I know he got, got the a bag. bag. The girls was getting like, I think the most I seen was like, not over a million, mm-hmm. I don't think. Maybe like a couple hundred thousand. It was like a couple hundred thousand. I should have screenshot that shit. The, the that boys shit. was getting like millions. <laughs> Dude. Anytime somebody say a person got an undisclosed amount, mm-hmm. that nigga got the bag. That nigga got the bag, bro. Nigga, the last time we heard a nigga got an undisclosed amount was when uh, LeBron signed that damn uh, life contract with a, with Nike. Yeah, that nigga got a bag. <laughs> that nigga got like a big undisclosed, B. Undisclosed, big B. So, but basically, my theory is about mm-hmm. this whole situation is, is that I mean, we all, I feel like we all pretty much know, like, this nigga Jeffrey Epstein was running pretty much a a fucking uh, freak party. Exactly. You know how, like, the parties that Chuck used to take Oh, them niggas was in there fucking, yeah. Yeah. Niggas Niggas was was up in there fucking, for sure. Like, they on a fucking private island. Mm -hmm. You got the the upper echelon of the, the, the most famous, richest, nastiest people on this motherfucking island doing God knows what, what God knows who, what God knows uh, the daughter, son, whatever got going on, man. Mm-hmm. So they out there doing foul, nasty shit with these young ass kids, man. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, man, I'm hearing that this nigga Jeffrey Epstein, you know, you know, the feds is on his ass. They they get some information, mm-hmm. you know. He's about to go to trial. Mm-hmm. You know, he's locked up and everything. But this is my theory. This is just my theory. This is Meech. Mm-hmm. So from what I think is that. Jeffrey Epstein was gonna drop a dime on niggas, cuz. That's exactly what that shit sound like to me. <laughs> he was gonna drop a dime on That's niggas. That's exactly what that shit sounds like to me. That's what I would do. I would have that nigga killed. So, with with this whole court situation going on, I feel like he about to drop a dime on niggas, and niggas mm-hmm. know he about to drop a dime. Bro, they called in. They had to call Jorge. They had to. One of them, the one of them, uh, or one, no, nah, they called uh, one of them uh, Nazi them neo Nazi yeah. niggas in prison and shit. Like, look, you, know you running this shit, catch him slipping now, immediately. Dude, the funny shit is about the whole situation is mm-hmm. is that they had him locked up with one of those skinhead type mm-hmm. of neo Nazi, yeah. you know, prisoners before. Like his bunkie was a murderer, damn, a murderer. Mm-hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, I felt like. His um his celly tried to kill him before, and right. I think they I think they put him in his own like personal cell or something like that. Right, right. I could be off with the with the. Oh uh, yeah, I heard he got stabbed or some shit in that bitch. I thought he got long. choked or choked. I, something I think like they that. tried to strangle his ass, and okay, then somebody like saw it, and then mm-hmm. it was like they whatever. broke it up. They yeah. broke it up, and then mm-hmm. they put him in in, some, in his own personal cell. Mm-hmm. And so this is fact. This is this is strictly fact. Mm-hmm. He was in his personal cell, mm-hmm. nigga. They said the cameras, quote unquote. Went out or stopped working. Mm-hmm. All the while, they supposed to have two, you know, 
uh, CEOs kind of monitor, walk by a cell, check on them every so often or whatever. But these niggas said they fell asleep. Nah. They fell nah, asleep. Nah, them guards got paid too, nigga. And so when they went back to a cell, the niggas dead. Them guards got paid. Neo Nazi niggas got paid. They breaking bread. They done bought drugs. Mm-hmm. Back into the prison, you feel me? Another economy boost. You feel me? Because they still Facts. they still got that money. You feel me? They still Man. got that money. And uh, yeah, that nigga got gone, bro. That's how it works. And I'm like, not them is niggas. Man, them the most dangerous niggas on the planet, bro. Because they could they could digging up dirt on all these politicians. Anybody that move the world, they digging up dirt. Nigga, bro. they already got files for you, niggas, man. That's what I'm saying. They the paperwork the heavy. Up. The paperwork heavy, bro. Like. You got to applaud them anonymous niggas, bro. Man, they know exactly what type of porn you was watching before I got here, Spiff. Bro, because that's a courageous act. I, I was trying. Nigga, if I was on the computer right now, if I was good at the computer, bro, I'll motherfucking join them niggas, bro. Facts. Because they was like, anybody could be in it, but you just got to be with you, the movement, bro. You, 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 gotta, you, you gotta just got to be with the movement, bro. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know your shit, you got to be with the move. Use your hacking skills Use them. for this, nigga. Do it for the greater good. For the greater good, bro. I, you know I, what? I we never, niggas, we never see them niggas do some, do some fucked up shit. We, you never see them niggas do no fucked up shit. You we feel never. Me? Never. I think they were behind the OnlyFans leak. Hey, man. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> if they leak OnlyFans, man, you got to fuck with them, bro. You got to fuck with them. How could you not, bro? But how could you not, bro? How could you not, man? The support, like, go hand in hand, bro, man. Man, listen. Like I say, man. We got, man, we got, I, and I'm going to speak for every black person. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we behind y'all 1,000%, 1,000%, bro. We look out for y'all. Y'all you look, look out, out for us. us. And everybody else, bro. Everybody, everybody Appreciate, else, man. We got to we gotta swing this shit, bro. That nigga Donald Trump can't be back yes. elected, and I'm still sold on this reparations. I ain't saying I'm wanting it now. I want them band bands now. By the time I'm, like, pushing Closer to 40, I would like those bands. Yeah, I would like those bands. I would like those bands. Like, right at the 35, you feel me? I would like that. Mm -hmm. A lot. But, uh, yeah, man, shout out to them, man. You feel me? But um, just speaking of social media and different movements and shit. Hey, man, peep gang. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Shit, when, when I was trying to get this podcast off the ground with Spiff, man, we had a lot of questions, man. Like, how do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Also, how do I how do I make money off this podcast, man? Man, peep gang, the answer to every one of those questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors, too, so you can get paid to podcast, man. Secure the bag. Listen, man, me and, me and Spiff, man, we ain't, we ain't come here to get paid off this, man. We just wanted everyone to enjoy, you know, and listen to our convos and stories about, you know, our upbringing. But why not get paid for it? You know what I'm talking about? So, if you always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it, Go to anchor.fm slash start. Again, that's anchor.fm slash start to join me, Spiff, and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. And guess what, man? We can't wait to hear your podcast, man. So, hey, that's it. Shit in these companies, bro. These fucking celebrities, bro. How you like... Uh, and... I hate to cut you off, Spiff, but mm-hmm. as far as like social media go, mm-hmm. that that's 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 one that's one tricky thing to to try to maneuver, you know, mm-hmm. at this time in life, man. Yeah, because people people use social media for good. Yeah, they use it for bad. They use it, you know, for monetary gain. They use it for evil. Like mm-hmm. they they social media is something different. It is a whole different monster. It's definitely a whole different monster, because from what I've what I've seen over the last few days, mm-hmm. and I don't know how how familiar you are with like the whole Drew Brees situation. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, he had an interview or, you know, with somebody, whatever. And he's still like on that whole, oh, you know, you know, I, I could never kneel, you know, towards the flag and, you know, my, my grandfather's fought for this country. I find it very disrespectful, you know, for people that's out here kneeling and and all of that stupid dumb shit. Mm-hmm. Mind you, we I feel like this conversation in regards to like kneeling and the flag has been ran through the mud. It's been constantly spoken about. I mm-hmm. feel like this is like just getting beat in the head with this whole kneeling in the flag situation. My thing is, I feel like this nigga Drew Brees is just like absolutely wrong and toned up to to the situation that's going on out here in the black community. That's a, that's a great way to put it for real because it just feels like he's being selfish with those comments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't take a time to... You can't take this time to step away, not step outside of your beliefs, but mm-hmm. put your beliefs to the side and look into what's going on in the world to other people, you feel me? Yeah. Like, you can't see that a group of people are hurting, you feel me? And they have a point of view as well, you feel me? You can't step outside yourself to, like, look. I don't think it's racist, but I think nah. he being very selfish at this time, you feel me? And and his remarks are mm-hmm. are very untimely, mind yeah. you. You bringing up the you bringing up this whole kneeling in the mm-hmm. flag situation when a nigga when when an officer was kneeled on a nigga neck for nine minutes. Exactly. So how untimely is that that you wanna bring this up? It's just like I said, I'll keep on continue to say it. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say shit at don't all. I'm not looking for you to say shit about none of this shit. Do what the fuck you do. Go play football. You feel me? And raise your fucking kids. You feel me? Yeah. That's it. That's that's all. Don't nobody really care about what the fuck you think about this movement. You feel me? Absolutely. You feel me? If you don't agree with it, shut the fuck up and don't do it. And even and and what I've seen a lot is that. I, I, I feel like a lot of people are, like, copping pleas for, like, these damn athletes and shit. Right. In which, you know, I feel like his culturally deaf ass mm-hmm. need to know what the fuck is going on out here. Exactly. This, mind you, this nigga played for the Saints, my nigga. New Orleans Saints. Mm-hmm. Nigga, half of his motherfucking offensive line, the it's same right. niggas that keep his ass up mm-hmm. from getting his and ass blasted. You. Yep, exactly. Nigga, they, they don't. The, exactly. exactly. The ones that protect you. Mm-hmm. These niggas is black. Exactly. These niggas is black. But they risk their lives, they literally. Risk they, no. So you can be good. Speak to us, Bill. Come on, now. Stop it, bro. Selfish ass nigga. That's what I said. You selfish as fuck, bro. Look a fuck around you and see who the fuck you got around you, bro. Absolutely. Them white people might pay you, but we keep you alive, bro. And this nigga, Shannon Sharp, he brought up a good fact. Mm-hmm. You know, I was watching Shannon and Skip the other day. It's like, it's nothing that he can really say right now. Mm-hmm. And I know he put out a couple different apologies and shit like that, mm-hmm. but the damage is already done. My exactly. Nigga. The damage is already done. Mm-hmm. Like niggas is not gonna forget this. No. Like the same the same O line that you got, man. Mm-hmm. They are not gonna forget this. I guarantee you that maybe the first six games of the season we're gonna see niggas go through that motherfucker like exactly. <laughs> like like it's easy, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a motherfucking revolving door. Niggas <laughs> gonna be cracking his ass. Exactly, dude. But I don't know, man. Like I say, man, Shannon Sharp did make a make a good point because at this point he just need to go ahead and just retire because of the the disrespect and mm-hmm. the remarks that he made. I don't feel like it's really no point. Uh, of it's it's I don't see at no part of him coming back from that. And I'm pretty sure, like as far as like the people that's in Louisiana right now, mm-hmm. they probably hurting. I mean, I've seen, you know, a couple people on social media say, fuck Drew Brees, you know, this, that, and the third. But I can guarantee you this, that nigga won't get a motherfucking uh, uh, a crab leg or a motherfucking piece of crawfish at the next seafood boy. Hell I tell no. you that. That Hell nigga ain't invited no. back at, at the hood no more. Hell no, nah, nigga. I tell yeah, you I'm that. Up. It is what it is, though. I just... Somebody need to call Boosie to slap the shit out this nigga. <laughs> dog. I'm telling you, bro. Like, that nigga just... He fucked up. He know he did, and that's just pretty much the end of that shit, bro. Like, yeah. I just I'm tired of hearing from celebrities, bro. Like, saying dumb shit. Like, 
Nigga, you be on the internet just like we be on the internet. Have you not seen niggas come before you in the last two weeks and fuck they shit up, black or white? You feel me? Don't say shit at all. That shit is tricky to navigate. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And what's and what's funny is that is that this nigga played for a city that was probably the most decimated by like a, a natural event. Like with the whole Hurricane Katrina, in which a lot of black people were left out of homes. You know, having to relocate and everything. So you would think you would you would try to speak to you know to the black the black race and our culture, you know, as being a, as an ally or some sort. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you want to bring up like nigga the war and kneeling and the flag and mm-hmm. shit, nigga, nigga, your grandfather wasn't the only one that fought in that motherfucking Fuck. war. Black nigga, people, black people built this country off they fucking backs, like we've been saying this whole time. Absolutely. Come on now. So, my nigga, you are just absolutely, totally wrong in this situation. You wrong as fuck. And I've seen him make a, you know, a couple different posts on Instagram, you know, apologizing and, and, and tagging Donald Trump saying like, oh man, we need to do something for our black people and shit like that. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Ain't no coming back from that. Cause. Ain't no fucking coming back from that shit. You fucked up, bro. Like, like people's out here really showing they show they they they, they true colors. colors man. You feel me? If I'm a celebrity and I'm speaking on social media on any platform there is that my career calls for, Darn, I'm fucking using my PR person to make statements for me. Dude. And if that shit ain't right, I'm going to somebody else. <laughs> Like, it's not that hard, bro. Like, niggas just being assholes for no reason, bro. I hope that nigga get his fucking neck broke this season, nigga. <laughs> Dog, I don't know if you saw this shit, but you remember that that show that that uh that QB one show that mm-hmm. comes on uh Netflix and shit. Yeah, I remember, I remember that, that nigga Jake Fromm was on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you saw it the other day, but uh, a text message had got leaked saying that uh. I guess they was doing like a little practice or whatever, him mm-hmm. and some other players. And he was like, only invite white elite players only. I seen somebody, I, I seen a brief tweet about that, but I ain't even know what to make of it. Duh, basically, the mm-hmm. nigga said, I don't want no niggas at this practice. I just want all white players. <laughs> My right. thing is, mm-hmm. how the fuck you gonna say invite white elite players only? I have never heard of a no white elite player. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, was it just like a cup, like two of y'all there, three? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like in the in the sport of football, my nigga, if you're not a quarterback, you're not elite. <laughs> who 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 is good? That's white in the NFL. Cause like, besides Christian McCaffrey. Like entertain me, bro. Like, cause like we fact checking this shit right now. Like, who who it, off the top of your head? Who is good and and that's white. Yeah, position players. Besides quarterback. <laughs> yes. I, I have to think about that. Um. Um. Besides Christian McCaffrey that yes. I just brought up. My point made. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on now, stop it, stop yeah. it, stop it. Come on now, that shit is goofy as hell, bro. Like, why, bro? Like, you just blatantly racist at this blatantly point, bro. Like, fuck, you you that in denial, bro. Like, you that prideful that you can't put another uh, another race of people above you at some point. I'm still tripping off the fact that this nigga said white, white elite, elite players only. Like, who the fuck was in that <laughs> bitch, bro? Who's on call? Who's on call? Oh, <laughs> lineman, them niggas not elite, bro. They break their uh, fingers every other game, bro. What the fuck, man? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what, what's going through niggas' heads I right now. I don't know, bro. That's the goofiest shit I done heard all fucking day, bro. But, what the fuck wrong with you, but bro? like we say, these niggas is getting exposed, nigga. Mm-hmm. Niggas' true colors are going to show, man, at some bro, point. Bro, and I hate to, like, just dwell on the sports-related shit, but Larry Bird had a comment. He was like, when I'm on the court, I don't want no white boy guarding me. <laughs> he was like, I want the black players. They the best, and I got to be the best. Facts. I know he going to give me the great run for Facts. my money, and I'm going to torch his ass too. Facts. I love that Come shit, on, man. bro. That's the most not racist shit a white person has probably said in sports 
ever, at least top five. Duh, honestly, the last white elite player, I spit like I'm <laughs> like I'm bamboozled. Like, like who was cold though? Like honestly, real quick, and I don't mm-hmm. want to make this a sports podcast or whatever. Mm-hmm. Who was the last white elite player in the NBA? <sighs> Shit. After Jordan came, it was a wrap, for real. After Jordan came, it was a wrap, bro. But I want to say Dirk, but that's nigga German, and his wife is black. So yeah, he like, don't count. Hey. Dirk don't count, bro. Dirk don't count. Not poor Zingas. He's still young He's still and young. fragile. Luka, he getting there. Luka. Luka could probably be there, but he's Slovenian. I feel like if you ain't just, yeah. like, if if, if so, you, Slovenian who, is different. Who? <laughs> From the U.S., nigga, that's a. The, I mean, I know we got fans everywhere. We're a yeah. global sport, but just out of the U.S., where it was like founded. Mm. White boy from know. America. Name one cold ass white boy from America that was elite. Man, if if y'all could tell us, who <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Larry Bird, bro. Please, please email us. I'm gonna say Larry Bird. Like, please do. Please do, tell us. Who was the last elite player <laughs> in the NBA that's white? I hate to tell it, but y'all not coming through like that on the sports, bro. Duh, like, duh. don't like we kind of do everything. Now, and I bro. and I don't want to hear that bullshit either. To talk about no, nigga. What's my man that played hold for on. the Lakers and shit? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second, bro. Take a walk with me, bro. All right. I want you to see something. All right. So before we take this walk, I want him to look outside my window and see how many. Tennis players on the court, and how many of them people are black? All right, hold on. Let me see. All right. All right. And we're back. And out of all the people playing tennis on that court, what percentage would you say were black? Um. It was a couple out there. It was a couple. It out of couple. all the people playing tennis. It was a couple, man. We do that shit too, nigga. We do the that fuck shit. you talking about? I'm going to tell you like this. It, from what I've seen, it was probably about five people on the tennis court and like four of them was black. I'm telling you. <laughs> come on now. Everybody on the tennis court playing tennis. Come on. We do that shit yeah. too, bro. Like It ain't nowhere y'all can run to for real. Yeah, man. No way I could run to if you're Honestly, playing in sports. If, if we, we got put it. all of our our athletic abilities to all of these sports, we will shut everything down, man. We will mm-hmm. fuck up all the niggas that be playing lacrosse, nigga. We will fuck up any nigga that be playing cricket. I feel like, nigga, we will shut that shit down. We will shut that you shit know, down. You know, bro. if a nigga wanted to slap box, I feel like we got that <laughs> hands down. Um, anything, my nigga, we elite. So. To sum it all up, yeah. if you playing sports on a professional level and you not supporting black people, I think you should shut the fuck up. Don't say shit. Yeah. Well, I think not even Get that. I think you should be with black people 100%. You feel me? Especially yeah. if you a star player. You feel me? Absolutely. Regardless man. of race. Absolutely. Fucking man. playing with me, man. <laughs> Them nigga, that nigga dumb as fuck. The more I think about that <laughs> shit, the more that shit get me heated, bro. White elite players White only. White elite players only, bro. That got to be working title. Working title for the five. <laughs> White elite players only, I'm question on. mark. I'm in between. I'm going to keep it two Virgils. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or White Elites elite players only. only. Maybe. Maybe both, but one in parentheses. Man. I wonder what Dr. Umar thinks at the time like <laughs> I'm this. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I wonder what he think about that shit, man. Man. But like I always say, man, uh, make sure you email us, man, at meetjustspillpod at gmail. Please. Share your thoughts. Please share your thoughts, share man. Your Let your us know thoughts. who How the fuck the elite players are. Please. Because it ain't no way, bro. And if you name a whole bunch, our definitions of elite are way <laughs> different in comparison. Like... Was 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 Pete Maravich really that nice? <laughs> um, he was, but basketball wasn't evolved yet. That nigga was giving niggas like seventies. Jason Williams <laughs> had a nice game, but he wasn't he elite. He ain't do shit though. <laughs> he ain't. He ain't. That's not elite, bro. He wasn't elite. He 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 top. 
25 point guards. Man. That's not an elite enough for me. That's not elite. Is he a Hall of Famer? No. Hall of Fame is elite. All right. All right. That, that's the bracket we said. Hall of Fame is elite. Damn, man. If we, yeah, in every, in every sport, Hall of Fame is elite. Shit. Damn, man, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. So evaluate that. Let me know y'all opinion on that shit, because I got something to say about that shit. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. And anybody want to argue with me, let me know, nigga. I will be replying to all emails. Man. Oh, man. This shit, man. That shit is crazy, man. I don't know, man, Spiff. Something, something got to change. Definitely, definitely. Like I say, man, this shit is definitely coming to the light, man. This shit is definitely coming to the light, dog. Man, you know what? This is so off subject, bro. And I hate to transition like that, but I got a top five for you. Please share. Top five all time mm-hmm. dancing R and B or <laughs> pop black niggas of all time. Ooh. Dancing too? Dancing. Entertainer. This is in no particular order, and I ain't had no time to really prep for this shit, so mm-hmm. forgive me. Michael Jackson, even though, you know, with his vitiligo and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's still black. He's still black. We got him. Michael Jackson. Come on now. Right under him, mm-hmm. Chris Breezy. Ooh. And I feel like niggas don't give my nigga Chris Brown his credit, man. He really been, like, killing shit for, like, 20 years. He have, though. He really a legend. He really a legend. He really a legend. Usher. Got to. Usher. Mm-hmm. Mm. Beyonce. Okay. Mm, that's a good one. Elite. 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 That's crazy. Damn. And I feel like I'm missing somebody. I got oh, one for you. I'm about to how how could I forget? My nigga danced through a whole motherfucking video. And was macking on a bitch, Omarion. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw my honorable mention out there first. Go ahead. I'm gonna say that nigga Mario. Damn. He was the first nigga to dance up on a bitch through the hood. Anyway, he created this Baby, whole. Baby, you like, can even know it, the That's time what I'm saying. I'm telling you, like, yeah. and then in that Let Me Love You video, he was, choreographed a whole dance yeah. for a bitch in his, in his studio apartment. He was dirty macking, but he got, I like, he got the draws, yeah. He <laughs> danced for that bitch, like that one nigga on Twitter, uh, that Twitter video, that nigga was Yo. dancing for the prom date and shit. That shit he was He invented that fun. shit. That shit was goofy as hell, though, but he invented that shit. So who your top five <laughs> dancing as? I'm going to say me. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. That's that's a staple, man. That ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna say did the moonwalk. I'm gonna say C Breezy. Definitely. I'ma say Yonce. Got to. I'ma say Omarion. Omarion. Niggas be sleep on my nigga Maybach. Oh. <laughs> I'ma say Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson. Oh, I forgot about Janet. I'ma say Janet. Janet Jackson. I forgot about Janet. And one more honorable mention to Tiana Taylor too. I was, she be I was trying just to, about to say she be Tiana trying to Taylor. Do a little something. I'm fucking with that shit. Yeah. I feel like Tiana Taylor is in her bag, man. She really is. I feel though. like she in her bag. She really is. Man. Dude, I saw some... I don't know. I, I think I like heard like some new music that she about to bring out and shit. Yeah, she's supposed to be dropping an album like man. June or something. I feel like she, she back in her bag. Cause mm-hmm. I feel like she definitely in her bag on that type of shit. Yeah. Man. Then she got the whole... like. I like her lane, though. Because like, she got the whole... Like, yeah, I could dance, I could sing, but I'm about to direct my, my own videos and shit, too. You Spiff. feel me? Spiff. They call her Spike T. Spiff. Yes. Elite. Elite. <laughs> Elite. Elite. Come, Come on, on now. Come Stop on. it, bro. We can run a that. whole country. I'm not a businessman. I'm, I'm a, a business, business man. man. Nigga, I don't want to hear that white elite shit. Nigga. I'm not trying to hear that white elite shit at all. I don't want to hear that cub. shit. My Come on, is stop it. Dancing, singing, slapping uh-huh. bitches, uh-huh. and getting back to it. And getting to the bag. Like, oh, you think I'm about to pay you for this? No, I'm a whole company. I'm Come sorry. On, white elite. Come on, bro. Shout out to him. If we would withdraw from y'all, stop helping y'all niggas make money, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. We'll shut this whole shit off, nigga. Nigga, 
it's so many black people that mm-hmm. that hasn't been given their opportunities out here in this world that are elite at what they do. Mm-hmm. I feel like we are some of the most creative people. Mm-hmm. Nick, we be out here doing a nay nay, mm-hmm. and we can fry chicken good, seasoned, and mm-hmm. and still maintain and make something out of nothing. nothing. At elite the story. You can't do that shit. Elite. You can't do what we do, bro. Come That's on. my thing. In life, outside of the situation, I'm not one to put myself over anybody mm-hmm. from any walk of life. You feel me? But I got my own bag. You got your own bag. Facts. But if you can't do what I can do, mm-hmm. I think you should shut the fuck up. Absolutely. And watch me do it. Absolutely. Elite. Elite. If you're not on my level, then don't say shit to me. That's the only time I ever go, like, classism or whatever you want to say. Like, if you can't do what I do, don't talk shit to me. You yeah. feel me? I'm not going to talk shit to none of y'all niggas, you feel me? But you can't do what I can do. Mm. You can't do what I can do. Man, I saw, I read on Twitter, no, I might have been on Instagram or whatever. It was like a quote from like Chris Rock. They had asked Chris Rock, is like, you know, when will you think, you know, racism in? He said, when, when we get treated the same as white people, when we do something absolutely minuscule and minor until it's point that is treated at the elite level. Exactly. That's when we know racism will end. Exactly. Because there's some white people out here doing some bull, 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 bullshit. Some bullshit, bro. And Niggas be really corny, though. Niggas are very corny, man. Niggas be really very, very corny, bro. It's a lot of shit that, that white people do mm-hmm. right now in which, in which we are probably the ones that created it. But they watered it down so much and mm-hmm. and, and, and just put their nasty Resources, asses. Yeah. In our culture and just fucked it up. All they did was put the re- major resources behind it, bro. That's it. They Dude. exploited it. Come that's on, all man. it is. That's all they do, bro. They, that's all they do is fucking exploit shit. Like I said, we built all this shit, bro. We built all this shit, bro, off our backs. Nigga, we created rock and roll and then they they gave uh, the credit to fucking Elvis. That's like, what I'm saying. On, like, come on, bro. All this shit that you so much love, that other countries love, nigga. 95.99% we created. Come on, man. 97, 98.9. I don't give a fuck. 100, nigga. At the end of the day. It's a lot of shit, man. And if we didn't create it, we make it cool. Shout we, out to we, James Brown. We make it cool for y'all, nigga. Absolutely, you man. You feel me? It's a lot of shit that we make cool that people look like, oh, fuck. What are, what are these black people doing? Mm-hmm. And then they turn around and be doing it and right after us. By the time it get to y'all, it be ruined. Like, oh, yeah. they fuck that shit up. Yeah, because we yeah. see we see some white person, nigga, on uh, the latest Ellen DeGeneres show. Mm-hmm. Doing the dance. Know, that doing the dance. Famous right. off of TikTok doing Come on, that shit. Man. It's a lot of motherfuckers on TikTok right now is still in this, still in dances from 12-year-old black girls and shit exactly. and getting famous as fuck. Exactly. Shout out to... Um, Shout out to Beyonce and uh, Meg Thee Stallion. I heard they had the little girl that made the little dance in the video or some shit like that. I don't know. I feel like that's what it is. That's what it is, man. Yeah. But, yeah, Spiff, man. Until we get treated equal, equal, Mm -hmm. we are going to continue to see this bullshit, man. I'm telling you. Shit. I mean, we working on it, though. Like I said, the progress is what I like to see. Progress. Mm-hmm. Progress, um, man. Like I say, man. I feel like I feel like, you know, we was destined for you know for something. Mm-hmm. I just don't know it yet. It's just about us just going out here and just it just putting in the work and just doing. Mm-hmm. But you know, I feel like we we destined for for bigger and better shit. Yeah, definitely, definitely better things coming soon, man. I just want to start, you know, just. Progressing myself, and you know, yeah. we even with this, like building our own, you know, network of people and mm-hmm. reaching out and supporting black business. Like it's all about progress. Like, Absolutely. You know, we we can create an economy amongst ourselves, and we can start this, and you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. spread love. You feel me? And business. You feel me? Absolutely. That's what it's gonna take. I mean, I feel like we can only get treated as equals if we do our equal share as well. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. At the end of the day, because ain't nobody going to be out here feeling sorry for 
Absolutely uh, not. Realistically, you feel me? Absolutely not. That's that's one thing that people fail to fail to realize is mm-hmm. that niggas nigga ain't gonna get two nigga, shits about you. Nigga ain't gonna give a fuck about you because we all got our own lives to deal with. We all got our own responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Niggas on you to pull yourself up, mm-hmm. like we do as black people, get up off our motherfucking ass and make some shit happen. That's I'm, it. I'm telling you, and I can remember. Me being younger, I was probably like 17, 18, I was talking to your pops, and he was like, mm-hmm. uh, I think I was coming from Grand Rapids, this is the third, we was having a conversation, he was like, he was like, cherish these moments, I know you don't think it's, you know, uh, worth it right now, you're just going through the motions, but once you, you know, really out here in the world, ain't nobody gonna give a fuck about you, no. it's dog eat dog. And don't you get me wrong, about you, your know, self. you know, and we got, we got very good, you know, support systems around us and shit, mm-hmm. but, you know, like I said, man, everybody got their own lives, everybody got their own shit to, you know, to handle, you yeah. know, we can't, we can't go to mama all the time, Hell no. we can't, mama got, mama gotta have a life too, you exactly. know, Exactly. you know you what feel I mean? me? but like I said, man, we, you know, we're gonna find a way, mm-hmm. because I, I even, you know, periodically spit, you know, I like to, I like to hop on Facebook and mm-hmm. they got like, and I told you this shit before, they got like the little memories tab and it'll show you on that date, everything that you might have posted within the last like 10 years or whatever. Right. And so I saw on there, my nigga, rest in peace to my nigga Mark. Rest in peace, Mark. He was like, yeah, me and, you know, me and me just laid some shit, man, hey. My nigga, my nigga about to do this rapping shit, and we gon' and we gonna make something happen. And even though, uh-huh. even though I didn't, you know, continue with that whole rapping shit, I felt like, you know, my nigga saw, saw something in me mm-hmm. to, you know, that he wanted to push. Exactly. And so, you know, with that being said, rest in peace to my nigga Mars. Even yeah. though I ain't rapping, yeah. but. I, I'm going I'm to I'm continue to do this pod until something happens, man. Exactly, man. This shit for you. Hey, man, this shit is for us, man. Like I said, it's been, I couldn't do this shit without you, man. And, hey, we we going we gonna, we gonna to make a way. Yep. Definitely going to make a way, man. My nigga Mars is still here. He be on this bitch, too. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. My nigga said right before he passed, like, man, I got to come up there and... And, and tell the people my story. Exactly. And that's the only regret that I ever have in life is not having my mans on this bitch, but I know he here in spirit. I know, that's right. Big facts. But spit floor. Yes, sir. Before we shake up out of this bitch, man, you got any last words, any last topics, any any last remarks you would like to give to the people? Um, For one, be safe out here for sure. That's, Absolutely. That's, that's important. Uh, white people, y'all weird as fuck, bro. <laughs> like y'all weird as fuck. And y'all not yeah. elite either. <laughs> Shout out to them anonymous niggas, bro, because we got a link for y'all, nigga. Cause yeah. I, I'm trying to see what we can do for real, just on a personal level, Absolutely. my nigga. I know y'all using y'all powers for good, but I need whatever a I can of, do on my end. I need, a, I need, a, I, need a, I need some dollars or something. I need y'all to hack some shit, ruin a person' life for me or something. Yeah. But uh, and then shit. I don't know shit. Fuck it, nigga. Like we, we done, nigga. Like fuck it. I ain't got shit else to say. Nigga. Man, before we go, man, you know, I want to kind of like you know bring the people up to speed. I mean, it's still we still working it out right now. I know I had mentioned it to Spiff, mm-hmm. you know, last week, whatever. I'm thinking about getting you know more some more listener engagement. I'm thinking about doing maybe a raffle or just giving some shit away. Yeah, what should we give away, man? That's a great. I don't know, man. I, I, we still got to brainstorm on that. I'm not sure if I I'm going to just cash app nigga some bread. Yeah. Or whatever. I think I might. I think we should do a hundred a piece. Yeah. Either Amazon gift cards Amazon or cash app on a piece. App. So, you know, we're still working it out. Mm-hmm. And we're going we're gonna to go through the details with a fine tooth comb, yeah. you know, real soon. Before Definitely. we before we go out here and tell y'all niggas what to do, but exactly. just just make sure that you that you subscribe to the pod and listen to the pod all the way through. Listen to the pod all the way through. And we gonna tell y'all what to do, and we are gonna tell you what right to around do. the time y'all niggas be uh, clicking off and shit, so we can't <laughs> get our fucking full listens and shit. Absolutely, you probably already clicked off, 
40 minutes ago and shit like that. But if you listen to this, nigga, we about to give you some fucking bands, nigga. We about to so you listen to this bands. bitch. So we going to leave hidden shit, clues man. in this bitch. We going to have anonymous leave hidden <laughs> crypto messages and shit at the end of our shit, nigga. Absolutely. And whoever win, nigga, we giving y'all 200 bucks. Absolutely, man. So, you know, so stay tuned. So make sure y'all subscribe, you know, to the to the pile, whether it's on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube, Meet Your Spiff. It's the name of the channel. But... Before we go, like I always say, man, I appreciate and love and thank all 12 of the motherfucking listeners of the motherfucking Meacham Spiff podcast. I wouldn't do this shit without y'all fuck niggas. So, as always, I love you. Spiff love you. Can I call on one this week, Spiff? I don't think you could call on right, one. It's too long. It's too long. All right, we Three out. table talk. <laughs> Peace.